I was hoping to make a video on routing the Galaxy S7. This is an Australian version, locked to Vodafone Network. And I attempted to follow a guide on the website and make a YouTube video on it. And I have bricked my phone. Well, not my phone, it's just a tester phone. And what's happening now is it's beeping twice, uh, the battery is buzzing twice and gets stuck on the flashing Samsung logo and the phone starts to get really really hot as time goes on. I just turned it on now and I can already feel that it's getting hot. So I'm gonna make a video now on restoring it. Before I do that just to show you don't follow any guide you see on the net. Um, this is my current model version 7. Um, that's the model number there. 930s and mine is a Xenos um, type CPU and the guide I was following on for whatever reason didn't want to work and I did follow all the instructions exactly so Nugget 7 correct model number and Xenos as well and I've downloaded all the required files correct versions and yet failed so i had the proper drivers i had the super su i put it in the memory card i didn't get to get to that part yet but after flashing the twrp the bootloader and that's when the uh, breaking happened um okay now i'm gonna make a video on getting it back up again now before I did the routing or attempted to root, um, I took a note of the um, software version I'm running. So that's it there. And I basically googled that and downloaded the same ROM from this awesome website called sammobile.com. So samsungmobile.com and um, basically from there you can download if they have the same exact firmware uh, custom same firmware ROM you're running on your phone and you can use this to restore back to original settings so I'll show you a video on how to take it back now okay so now the phone is now turned on the, turned on into download mode and connect it to the computer. The next stage takes place on the computer. So I'll keep this uh, screen recording on the phone. You can see what's happening. And I'll show you what's happening on the computer shortly. Um, just to give you an idea. So on the left I've got the, um, on the right I've got my firmware, uh, the official ROM downloaded from Sammobile. I've extracted the contents and the files we're going to use are the first four. Do not use the home one. So then you open up Odin, as I've got it open here. Now make sure it's blue here, you've got a COM port. And Oh, I need to press volume up and you will see message says added on the bottom. Great. And I can see the COM port now active. And here are the selections. So just so you can see. So it's not that hard. BL goes to BL. Mm, hard to see, but you will see it there. There it is. BL. Yep, that's it. Okay, so AP for AP, CP, and CSC. That's it. So altogether, it's about 4.2 gigabytes. This is going to take take some time. So I'm going to start it, and let's see what happens on the phone. Okay, here we go. Downloading. It's doing the system component. I believe that's the AP. That's the biggest uh, file size, about four gigabytes. 
I haven't done this before, so I hope I can bring them back the phone. I'll come back to it shortly. Okay, we ran into a problem. It says um, do not turn off targets yet here. Can't open the serial com port. Oh, okay. So that's my. Um, we can ignore that. That was the, uh, the first time I've connected the Samsung phone. So it's still going clearly and successfully. So ignore the fail message. You shouldn't have that message. So on the left, I've got the. Um, on the right, I've got my firmware, uh, the official ROM downloaded from Sammobile. I've extracted the contents and the files we're going to use are the first four. Do not use the home one. So then you open up Odin. As I've got it open here. Now make sure it's blue here. You've got a COM port. And oh, I need to press volume up. You will see message says it on the bottom right and I can see the COM port now active and here are the selections so just so you can see so it's not that hard BL goes to BL mm, hard to see but you will see it there there it is BL that's it. Okay, so AP for AP, CP and CSC. That's it. So altogether it's about 4.2 gigabytes. This is going to take, take some time. So I'm going to start it and let's see what happens on the phone. Okay, here we go. Downloading. system is about to be complete mm, it's continuing on great it says it's all successful I am very curious Looking good. This is where it was filed before. I was about to reboot the phone and then I saw this. Great. So have some patience, it takes a little while and it looks like I might have this phone back up and running. Fantastic! Happy days! And I hope you're having a happy day as well. Great! Agree to all, mate. Take my blood. Yes, you too, Google.
Well, we're in all the way in Sydney, GMT 10. Joe Smith, thank you. Nope. Skip. Skip. Come on. Okay. So many questions. Fantastic. We are back to beginning again. Of course, with our all on your ver files. Yep, everything zero. Well, at least we got our device back. Nice. Hopefully that will help you as well.